Welcome back to the channel, everyone. And today we'll be watching Losing My Patience, the Surgeon Simulator 2 song with Bone Cage. And it's a stupendium song, so go, go subscribe to both of them and watch it there. Um, I've never played uh, Surgeon Simulator, and I assume it's uh, where you're supposed to be a surgeon. <laughs> I just... I assume it's probably dumber than that in the fact that it's kind of be it's gonna be like the game operation, but uh, you put dumb things back into people <laughs> and see if they live. Colors already are great. <laughs> right off the bat, the neon uh, coating on everything is great. And it's not just like on the mic or anything or on his hat, but it's also on the tie and everything else. Uh, also, does Stupendium, do they have like every suit imaginable? Like, <laughs> screen, cool, <laughs> that is crazy. It's like, it's, it's, like it's sanity. Love the after effects. Do they have like the um that healing ray that uh keeps patients alive for eternity like um like the medic from uh, uh, Team Fortress 2. <laughs> so you can put anything you want into them and then just heal them up around it. You might find a shrub for a lung unlikely. Nuss was hurt me when I asked for an IV. At least drop free. No cats on your cat scan. What were you expecting when you asked for a transplant? We soon gave up with the tracking. The rate of patient survival. Because I am psychiopathic. Because I am homeocidal. We heard it tip to recycle. A hammer? Oh my gosh, that's a hammer. That's like a an actual hammer. <laughs> Jeez. So proud of more digestion of my two least favorite thing. Oh, I'm I'm <laughs> <take you apart. laughs> How'd you get that arm? <laughs> yeah. As soon as if you're awake on a, during a surgery and you see someone just coming in with regular tape, you're like, hmm, I might I might die here. <laughs> This is extra hard to watch because I was just recently at the hospital for eye surgery. <laughs> Colors are crazy in this thing. Four of my medical residents. There's all kinds of genocide. I'm a more hit some specimen. Democratically negligent, like I'm hacking a venison. Only four days into his uh, <laughs> residency. That's that's great. <laughs> put him on uh, put him on live patients. Perfect. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's true. I'm excited to make your acquaintance in the waiting room of it in my basement. Cause I crave the sensation of your brains in my waist. Been a nice guy, but I keep losing my patience. So. Man, I paused this in the worst spot ever. So with this game, can you, um, I know you can obviously operate on people, but uh, do you actually design your entire hospital based off of how many of your patients may or may not survive? <laughs> Let me know. If your internals are curdled and need some surgery urgently, it must be an emergency. If your CV refers to me, I'm certain you'd prefer to see some learn from university. Yeah. Earn the degree to service me, set free when they purchase the learning surgery DVD. This infernal. This reminds me of uh, all the um, like Family Guy videos and things like that, where uh, someone's like, "All right, uh, let me just put this DVD in, and we'll figure out how the uh, how this surgery is gonna work." And oh, you're going under now. Okay, great. And then you freak out. <laughs> Jeez, if you have any sort of uh, 
epilepsy. Do not watch this one. There's so much color going on all over the place. Also, what is with Stupendium and crazy hallways? <laughs> Game sounds looks terrifying. I like how uh, I like how with the cut guitar they keep adding new not instruments but new um, items to play uh, the guitars. There's like there was started with two hands, sounds like four, and then probably six. And they're using bananas and nonsense. There's so much stuff going on in this. What am I watching? <laughs> How is this a hospital? This, is, this isn't even like a an organ like uh, I was gonna say transplant facility, but this is more like a black market organ uh, <laughs> taking facility. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. <laughs> You're playing the guitar with a magnifying glass of rubber duck, a spoon. Oh, and uh, a bell. That bell looks familiar. I think it's from another uh, video. Did you see um, the people holding the knives? They were holding them backwards. <laughs> Duck tape playing. Why not? I'm sure they'll be fine with the sponge cake watching. in them. And a massive thanks to all of my incredible patrons <laughs> for making this video possible. This song was a collaboration with the fantastic Bone Cage, so please do check out his channel. He's incredibly talented and I've wanted to work with him for the longest that, time. That was terrifying. If you terrifying. enjoyed the song, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, <laughs> ring the little bell, and check the playlist for more songs. And if you really liked it, then why not check out my Patreon or merch store. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm surprised he didn't die. Well, it looked like he died at the end right there. You know what? I wonder if he got his degree at the uh, I Can't Teach This. <laughs> oh geez, that was crazy. <laughs> uh go subscribe to the Stupendium and Bone Cage. Have a good day everyone.